Hey everyone, this is Mitali and we will be doing another episode with Mixing It Up with Mitali. And in this episode, we will be sharing scary stories from Reddit of different college campuses. And we have Daniel here today. Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm a third year film student. I like long walks on the beach and hate horror stories. As a disclaimer, these stories did not happen on our campus and these are Reddit wow. stories that happened on different campuses. Good, I'm so happy to hear that. So we'll get right into our stories. So, I moved into the lots after someone attempted to start a building fire right before school started. Curiosity got the best of me and I decided to visit the floor where the fire happened. No clue. When we got off the elevator, we saw the burnt areas under construction and man, I don't believe in the supernatural, but I had the worst gut feeling oh, no, of, course. of fear and I need to leave immediately. And as I returned my back to step into the elevator, something or someone whispered, get out. It's hard to put into words, but it felt like someone was right there with me, so close that I could almost feel their breath on my neck. What? That is really scary. scary yeah. Thing. Why would the person go there? Doesn't make sense. I don't understand. That's scary. What would that even be? Would that be like from the. What if it's like a spirit that came out from like. Maybe someone. What happened in the fire? Yeah. That's crazy. I immediately whipped my head around, but nothing was there. Just an empty hallway. I'm very rational, logic based person, but I went back to my dorm that day horrified. I wouldn't even go back to my dorm. I would go back home, man. Yeah, I, I don't I, know. First this person out was of just. There. This, this person was just going about the day. Mm-mm, one way ticket out. Not The dorms ain't safe. I'm sorry. Not after that. That's yeah, what scary. If the, what if that scary thing comes to the dorm? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, it's going to follow you. It's right behind you. Yeah. The whole day afterwards felt off and it lingered for days. Maybe it was all in my head, but I never felt or experienced something like that again. And I'd rather keep it that way. Yeah, of course it felt odd. Those things follow. But but why would they it pro- follows. Yeah. That, I, I know that from a horror film. That's all. It follows. And why would the person go into fire? I like, don't who, who has who, that curiosity? Who would? Who would, that? would yeah, no. I would never, never. I, I would never. I just, you just go away from the fire, not in the fire. Exactly. You run away. Yeah. Just Stop, <laughs> drop, and roll, guys. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> and now on to our second story. Mm. At some point during the semester, I got really into going to the quiet floor of the library. It became my routine to finish classes, get a bagel from the library coffee shop, and hike it up to the third floor of the library. One day, I got super bored of doing the same thing over and over again. So I figured that I would change things up and visit different floors of the library. After a few trips to different floors of the library, I eventually decided that the third floor was the place to be. When I got into the elevator, for the last time, I pressed the third floor button. However, the elevator glitched or something and sent me to the basement. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) That's so bad. I would course try crying. There were always ghost stories and warnings to never visit the basement and I for sure did not want to go there. I tried pressing different buttons immediately to stop my trip, but the elevator kept going, oh, she's stuck. Oh yeah, that's what she <laughs> The doors opened and it immediately had an eerie quite wide. I was waiting for the doors to close, but they didn't. At this point, I am jamming on the close button as fast as I could. Finally, they start closing, but before they shut all the way, this blood curdling scream and a blinding flash of white whooshes by the elevator i hit the floor terrified when i finally look up i am back on the third floor which makes zero sense because it's supposed to take forever to get back up there man i still can't explain that one but let me tell you it was straight up freaky and i'm still shook from that day no joke that's crazy I would never trust no elevator after I, I I would just not go to the elevator. It, there's no, stairs, like there's everything else. And cardio. Yeah, like, why? and if the person knew, why, why why would they go to the elevator? Yeah, why would you even go to the elevator? At that point, I mean, like, 
Honestly, you, you called it on yourself. No, you did. Yeah. You really did. I would never do the elevator. You know, you got to get your cardio yes. in, you know, get your, what, 1,200 steps a day, close those apple rings. All right? You don't need the elevator over here. Exactly. Especially after that. Yeah. Never. The person got it on, her, on itself, so. All right. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. So let's get into our third story. So there's a story about an elderly faculty couple who used to live right on campus. In the building, that's now the Scholars Hall. Students loved them because every winter they would do something super cool. The husband would set up a shop by the lake, dishing out hot chocolate to anyone who swung by, while his wife would ice skate when it was frozen over. Yeah, that was that was cool. But you know time waits for no one. And as they got older, they had to retire. The university gave them a hard choice. One of them had to keep working to stay on campus. So the husband decided to stick around while his wife retired. He would still watch her skate from their window. Though as the years went by, the workload piled up and the poor guy ended up in the hospital. Tragically, he passed away. The university offered to relocate his wife, but before any steps could happen, she tragically passed away a few days after her husband. What? That's creepy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, I feel bad. It's really bad. I don't like that. I don't feel good. Just give me notebook vibes. Mm-hmm. Now, the legend says that one of those super cold winter nights, you could feel and see someone, someone's breath where husband used to sell hot chocolate and if you leave a certain light on the window sh- window shield that her husband used to watch her on you could see her silhouette on the lake hey that's graveyard love baby that's what that is <laughs> good for them they're still they're still together in the afterlife that makes me happy yeah I mean, that, that's a good feeling one yeah exactly and they love christmas like, yeah. they're like hot chocolate and ice skating so that's right they're a cute couple I love that. This is our fourth and final story of this episode. I'm making it through, guys. So I transferred to my campus two years ago. I usually get all my work done. You know how it is late on campus and learning and hearing random noises at night isn't super uncommon. But I always thought it was just the usual hum of the AC. But last weekend, it's past midnight and I'm chilling on the couches trying to get some work done. Nature calls, and I gotta hit the restroom. I'm washing my hands, and out of nowhere, one of the stall doors slams shut with a crazy loud bang. Boom! Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? I have no clue. Dude, what's going on here? For sure, this is this place is not haunted, and I don't want it to be haunted. I, no, I know it's that not. is. It just had to have been somebody walking. There's no way. Oh. I was pretty sure. I was the only one in there, unless some ninja snuck in while I was doing my business. I glanced down to check if I could spot any feet under the stall. Nothing. Then out of the blue, I hear this whisper coming from inside the stall. I'm like 99% sure it said, watch out. Oh my god, this is... And right after that, the stall door just swings open towards me. Oh, no. That is so scary. How can he do his business? <sighs> <laughs> towards me like it's possessed or something. I didn't waste a second. I bottled out of that restroom, packed up my stuff, and headed home to study. Nope, not sticking around for whatever was going on in there. Why would he go to home? Why would you? on a Saturday night past 12 no oh, that's so scary I, you know I walked across the campus like at 9 one night a squirrel came out from a bush I ran okay I ran it was a tiny little squirrel that thing was whew, scary so I don't know how people are doing it out here thank you for being here on of my course. episode today and we have a prize for you I'm so excited it's my own Stanley Cup. I'm so excited right now. I've been wanting one forever. And it's an ASI Stanley Cup. Look at that. I'm going to be like, I'm sorry. I can't talk to you. You don't have the ASI Stanley Cup? I'm sorry. You know, if you filled out the form and you came on, you might get one. So 
So yeah, make sure you fill out the form to be on the next episode with Mixing It Up with Mitali. And yeah, I'll see you next time. All right, bye.